equal to secant of tan inverse x. Okay, this is secant of tan inverse x. We have to find dy by dx here. dy by dx at x is equal to 1. That's all. See here, with help of uh, the right angle triangle, first I am going to find the value. See, a secant tan inverse cannot be cancelled. It may be secant, secant inverse can be cancelled. So the angle will be x here. Tan nothing but shall I write tan inverse x as tan inverse x by 1. Tan nothing but opposite by adjacent. Opposite is x here. Adjacent is 1. Then what about hypotenuse? Root over 1 plus x square with the help of Pythagoras theorem. So now here y is equal to secant of. So what about secant x sum of student? Anyone? Secant x value or secant theta value something. What is secant? Secant value. Yes. Hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse? 1 plus x square by 1. So sorry, we should write a secant inverse. We converted into secant inverse. So hypotenuse by adjacent. Adjacent is 1. Now you can cancel these two. So y is equal to finally, we got root over 1 plus x square. Right? Since we know that it is in the form of a root x, the derivative of root x will be formula. Yesterday I have written 1 by 2 root x. Now you differentiate. When I differentiate dy by dx is equal to a root. It is in the form of root x 1 by 2 root over 1 plus x square. Chain rule. Okay, uh, the derivative of root completed. Next, 1 plus x square derivative is 0 plus 2x. 0 plus 2x. Okay. Then dy by dx value. Now substitute in place of x0. In place of x0. x2 to get cancer. What is the answer? 0 by something. 0. Is there any 0? No. So they are asking that x is equal to 1 now. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 substitute here. You will get the answer. So x is equal to 1. That's all. x is equal to 1 means here, uh, here I cancel 2x by 2 into 1 by 2 times of root over 1 plus 1 is square. 2 to get cancelled. 1 by root 2. First option. So what I have done, a uh, tan inverse x is there, secant of tan inverse x. Secant tan inverse cannot be cancelled. The tan inverse, you can change it to secant inverse with help of right angle triangle. So I found hypotenuse. So hypotenuse by uh, adjacent. So we got y is equal to root over 1 plus x square. It is in the form of root x, root x derivative 1 by 2 root x. And after that, 1 plus x square derivative 1 is a constant derivative 0. x square is 2x. So 2x by root over that. I replaced x by 1. So finally, we got 1 by 2. Next. Question number 8. The substitution method. Question number 8 also. Uh, with help of substitution method, we can easily do. Otherwise, it is difficult. Two, every time we are having two methods, one is take y, y value of this function, then tan y is equal to x by root over a square minus x square, apply a u by v rule, apply u by v rule, but this is difficult compared to substitution. Okay, first I am taking the derivative, so d by dx of tan inverse of x by root over a square minus x square into dx. Sorry, not dx. This, 
derivative of this function we need to find it is very very easy see student substitution so i already told you many times whenever even in inverse trigonometry also i have given whenever square root of a square minus x square is there what shall we substitute in place of x anyone x is equal to x is equal to what shall we substitute the same theta a sin theta very good or a cos theta that's your wish but look at here tan inverse is there tan inverse is there if it is cot inverse substitute x is equal to a cos theta because cos by sin will be cot but tan will be there tan nothing but sin by cos it's better to you can substitute x is equal to a sin theta which implies sin theta is equal to x by a theta is equal to sin take right side sin inverse of shall i write x by a okay sin inverse of x by a. fine this is theta value now when we substitute here d by dx of tan inverse of a sin theta by root over a square minus yeah d plus x by a sin theta shall i write a square sin square theta yes we can write so this is equal to d by dx of tan inverse of a sin theta and see here what is the common in denominator a square is common then 1 minus sin square theta will be cos square theta so d by dx of tan inverse of a sin theta by shall i write this value as directly a cos theta because a square 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 root get cancelled. Here one minus sine square is cos square theta. Square square root get cancelled. Nothing but remaining is a cos theta. A get cancelled. Now see here. This is d by dx of tan inverse of remaining value is tan theta. Tan tan inverse cancelled. Theta finally d by dx of theta. We cannot differentiate here with respect to x. Theta is independent variable, but uh, What is the value of theta finally? Theta value. <coughs> Sin inverse x by a. Shall I substitute theta value? Sin inverse x by a. Since we know that, what is the derivative of sine inverse x? Am I? Sine inverse x derivative. One by root over one minus x square. in place of x here we are having x by a so this is equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus x by a whole square into that's it is friends into we need to write anything or is uh, uh, up to here it is right d by d x of x by a Yeah, d by dx of x by a is one by a. Okay, exactly. X by a. Ah, that will be one by a. That's all. Now take LCM here. It can be written as uh, uh, a square is LCM. A square becomes numerator. A root over a square minus x square. X by a is one by a. Take here x square by a square a square. Take LCM. Square root of a square will be a. A becomes to numerator. So. Finally, the answer is square root of a square minus x square. Any option? A yeah, fourth option. Once again, what I have done here simply tan inverse of x by root over a square. So direct differentiation it is difficult. So that what I have done, I substituted x is equal to a sine theta. Because we are going to get when I take x is equal to a sine theta, we are going to get tan theta directly. But uh, don't take uh, a cos theta. Even if you take, you will get a 
cot cot again you can write in terms of tan tan of 90 minus theta like that so instead of that you can take a sin theta so theta is equal to sin inverse x by a then i substituted a sin theta in place of x so i simplified finally we get tan inverse of tan theta so tan inverse tan get cancel so theta value at last i replaced here theta value is uh, sin inverse of x by a it is in the form of sin inverse x sin inverse x derivative 1 by root over 1 minus x square so at last x by a derivative i found i simplify directly we got fourth option is the answer okay next so uh, question number 9 Here, uh, d by d x of cot inverse. So he, again, here also if I consider y is equal to this, we cannot differentiate directly. So cot y is equal to we are going to get root and root up by root plus root. So this is very difficult to do directly. Again, substitution. First, uh, y is equal to question number nine. y is equal to i am considering y value as cot inverse of cot inverse of uh, root over 1 plus x minus root over 1 minus x by root over 1 plus x plus root over 1 minus x this the differentiation we need to find okay here cot inverse is there okay let us uh, think about uh, later that cot inverse but see here Here a root one plus x is there, root one minus x is there. Is there any standard formula for one plus x or one minus x? Yes. I told you two important formulas uh, that are very very important. So what are those formulas? One plus. Yes, friends. Substitute here x is equal to what? What we need to substitute here? For what value of x will get a standard form? One plus one plus cos two theta take x is equal to cos two theta. Then one plus cos two theta is two cos square theta. Square should be cancelled. Don't take tan. If you take tan, is there any formula? One plus tan theta one plus tan tan plus theta. Okay, tan square also okay, no problem. Tan square means one plus tan square okay, but what is one minus tan square? Do you know formula for one minus tan square? No. In that case, it it will be we cannot substitute tan square theta. So one minus cos two theta also formula will be there. That is two sine square theta. Am I right? Now apply these two. Okay, ma'am. Right. So with the help of this, take x is equal to cos two theta. Then cos two theta is equal to x. Two theta is equal to cos inverse of x. Then theta is equal to one by two cos inverse of x. Finally, theta value we got like. Okay. In substitution method, when we consider this cos two theta as x, finally you have to find theta value also. Because after simplified, you are going to get the finally we are getting terms of theta terms. Finally, we will get in theta terms. Theta you can replace by again because here we differentiating with respect to x. We differentiating with respect to x. So now I want to simplify this this value alone. So root over one plus. Okay, what is one plus cos two theta? Two cos square theta. That is nothing but shall I write root two cos theta? Yeah, root over one minus cos two theta. Value is two sine square theta. Shall I write root two sine theta? Yes. Substitute all these values here. Given y. Y is equal to cot inverse of root two of 
cos theta minus root 2 sin theta by root 2 cos theta plus root 2 sin theta. Yeah, students, uh, then next, shall I take uh, root outside? Shall I cancel directly this root? Root is common numerator and denominator. Then it will be cancelled. It will be cancelled. Am I right? I want to do one thing. A numerator and denominator. Dot inverse of. I want to take a root 2. Cos theta is common. Then 1 minus root 2. Sin theta by root 2. Cos theta in numerator. By root 2. Cos theta means. 1 minus root 1 plus root 2 sin theta by root 2 cos theta. See, both will be cancelled. Now root 2 root 2 root 2 root 2 get cancelled. Finally, y is equal to cot inverse of what is the remaining value? 1 minus tan theta, theta by theta. 1 plus tan theta. What is the value of 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta? I think so, you know. Yes? And 45. Exactly. Remember, students, tan 45 minus theta. Yes or no? Tan A minus B formula. Tan A. Shall I write here 1 as tan pi by 4? Here, shall I write here tan pi by 4? Tan pi by 4 value is 1. So, tan A minus tan B by 1 plus tan a tan b tan a minus b okay so we can write like this the cot inverse of tan pi by 4 minus theta but can you cancel a cot inverse of this tan no you cannot cancel then what will you do here how can you change in terms of cot pi by 4 plus theta Exactly, pi by 2 minus pi by 4, 90 minus theta. Okay, so cot inverse cot get cancelled finally after simplifying this pi by 4 plus theta we got. This is y. So y is equal to pi by 4 at last v plus theta value. Okay, after simplification we got in terms of two. so 1 by 2 cos inverse of cos inverse of x. Now differentiate here. This value we need to differentiate. dy by dx is equal to pi by 4 is a constant 0, 1 by 2. What is cos inverse x derivative of Yes, cos inverse x derivative. Minus 1 by root of 1 minus. That's all. The answer will be second option. Yes. So simple, what I have done, simply uh, I replaced x by cos 2 theta. So I applied these two formulas. So we will get a root 2 cos theta minus root 2 sin theta by root 2 cos theta plus. So root 2 cos theta you can take comma directly we will get 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta. There is a formula for 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta tan 45 minus theta. So uh, I substituted here. Then cot inverse tan cannot be cancelled. So uh, I, I change it again since we know that tan theta is equal to cot 90 minus theta. I apply this pro property here tan 90 minus. So cot cot inverse cancel. Then pi by 4 plus theta theta I replace at last I differentiate. You must be replaced. So that is the answer. Second option. Now again uh, here okay students again. What shall we substitute in place of x here? Anyone? Sine inverse of root over 1 plus x plus root over 1 minus x all divided by 2. Can anyone tell that uh, what shall we substitute here? Yes? What value of x will get a standard form? Again, cos 2 theta 
because if you are having only one plus one plus x is there okay we can substitute maybe tan tan square theta one minus if you are having only one minus x we can substitute x is equal to sin square theta or cos square theta but uh, the combination will be there okay combination of uh, uh, one plus x one minus x you must be substitute cos two theta over okay so we cannot substitute two different values you know so we should take x is equal to cos two theta can you try can you try this it, it is easy only you can try this so we are going to get sin 45 minus x so sin sin will was get cancelled you can try this next y is equal to cos inverse of x minus x inverse x plus x inverse then find dy by dx dy by dx so students uh, anyone what shall we do shall i write like this cos inverse of x minus 1 by x by x plus 1 by x yes so cos inverse of your take lcm we are going to get x square minus 1 by x square plus 1 numerator denominator i have taken lcm as x x into x x square minus 1 by x square plus 1 so what shall we substitute in place of x student a anyone shall i write like this since we know that cos of minus theta value is cos theta cos is even function show so that we can write cos inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square cos of minus theta will be as cos theta because cos is even okay student i think so now you got some idea about to substitute the x value what shall we substitute here anyone in place of x the cos inverse is there for what value of x we are going to get 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square per tan theta right exactly so x is equal to tan theta tan theta is equal to x so then theta is equal to tan inverse x that's all when i substitute tan theta here y is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta 1 minus tan square by 1 plus tan square is formula cos 2 theta since cos 2 theta is 1 minus tan square by 1 plus tan square okay so you should be remember all the formulas so if you remember trigonometric formulas all trigonometric formulas this differentiation is very very easy See, most of the problems are based on trigonometry like sin theta cos theta tan theta some functions are depending on like hyperbolic functions so this is finally y is equal to we got it as 2 theta again theta you can replace what is theta value here tan inverse x tan inverse x now differentiate with respect to x on both sides y becomes dy by dx right set 2 into tan inverse x derivative 1 by 1 plus x square the answer will be 2 by 1 plus x square any option 2 by second option so once again what i have done here so x inverse i have written as 1 by x i have taken lcm we got x square minus 1 by x square plus 1 if you substitute tan theta directly there is no standard form so that take minus common cos of minus theta it is in the form of cos of minus theta cos of minus theta is cos theta so finally i replaced x by tan theta we got 1 minus tan square by 1 plus tan square so cos inverse cos get cancelled finally we got 2 theta theta value is tan inverse x i replaced here tan inverse x derivative directly 1 by 1 plus x square 
that's all so we got the second option next okay in this question it is somewhat lengthy so here hyperbolic function derivative of hyperbolic derivative of hyperbolic see student anyone it is in the form of d by dx of we can easily write this as i told you clearly in yesterday class if you do directly also we can do directly but with help of u by v rule that is too lengthy when you sub do like u by v rule u by v rule you know d by dx of the question will be d by dx of 3 power x minus 3 power minus x by 3 power x plus 3 power minus x okay mom right since uh, clearly what is sin hx i told you yesterday e power x minus strains e power x e power minus x by 2 cos hx is e power x minus plus e power minus x now observe here this is in the form of 3 power x 3 power x minus 3 power so e power x like you can divide these two 2 to get cancel sorry 2 to get cancel now we get in this form so this is clearly this is clearly we can write a tan so what is the uh, uh, like d by dx of will write a uh, tan hx sin hx by cos hx is tan hx no tan hx so but here tan hx into we can write here into log 3 What is the derivative of tan h x sum? Minus secant square h x. Yesterday clearly I have written into log three because you know base is base is three. Your base is e actually into log into log e into log e by two two log e log e value one. We should not write one. So but whereas here three power x two power x like a power x we should multiply like this. So secant square. Secant square means again. What is secant h x sum? Then cos two, no sir. Plus secant square. No. It is in hyperbolic function. It should not be positive. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. First three are tan is positive. Sorry. The remaining three are negative. Cot, secant, cosecant. Sine, cos, tan will be positive. Fine. Cos h x is like this. What is secant h x? Secant h x. Shall I write one, two by like this? Reciprocal of cos h x only, no? So what shall we write here? Two square. Two square by three power x plus three power minus x in the whole square into log three. So what is the option they given among correct option? Is it first one? Yes, twelfth one is first one. Students, if you don't have any idea, you can apply u by v rule. Because three power x derivative is three power x into log three. Three power minus x derivative is three power minus x into log three into minus one. That is minus three power x derivative. Three power minus x derivative. U by v rule we can apply. Otherwise, otherwise, 
your sin hx value will be there sin hx is equal to 3 4 x plus, uh, minus 3 3 4 minus x into log 3 cos hx value is So anyhow, we are getting this log 3 into log 3. Base is, you know, so you know, so that we are getting log 3. So like that, this is clearly tan hx, tan hx is secant square. Secant hx means reciprocal of this. So I substituted that. Here cos 3, 4 x plus 3, 4 minus x by 2 is cos hx, then by. So before, after differentiating only, you can write log 3 here not before differentiation after differentiation only you can write log 3 okay students is it clear this question number 12 let us go for uh, question number 13 Actually, 13 is, if I differentiate directly, it is in the form of tan inverse x, 1 by 1 plus x square, sin hx, the whole square, again sin hx is cos hx. Yeah, you can simplify this. Simplify this, you are going to get the answer. Okay. And uh, is there any formula for uh, there is a formula for hyperbolic function cos square hx minus sin square hx is equal to 1. Since we are having formula cos square hx minus sin square hx is equal to 1, then uh, sin square hx you can take right side. So cos square hx is equal to 1 plus sin square hx. Shall I replace here 1 plus sin square hx by sin hx whole square with sin square hx? Shall I replace these by cos square hx? When I replace here, we are going to get strains here cos hx by cos square hx. One cos cos get cancelled. 1 by cos hx means secant hx. The answer is second one. So once again, it is directly in standard form. Tan inverse x is there. Tan inverse is 1 by 1 plus x square. Okay, with the help of chain rule, first to differentiate tan inverse, next to differentiate sin hx. 1 by 1 plus sin hx whole square into sin hx is cos hx. Since we know that there is a formula in hyperbolic, See, in trigonometry, sin, cos square plus sin square is 1. But in hyperbolic, cos square hx minus sin square hx is 1. If you get any doubts, you can substitute the cos hx by e4x plus e4 minus, minus x by 2. And sin hx as e4x plus minus e4 minus x by 2. And you can square plus adding. We are going to get surely 1, not squaring. Subtracting, squaring and subtracting, you are going to get 1, surely. You can check it once. E square x whole square e power minus, like that, okay? So with the help of this, cos hx by cos square hx, one cos cos get cancelled, 1 by cos means second. So second option is right. See students, this logarithmic differentiation, this uh, even uh, uh, in NCRT also, the question which is belongs to logarithmic differentiation are very, very important after continuity in chapter 5. This is important. So already this kind of questions we completed in NCRT. Once you can try yourself by taking this y is equal to x over tan x, take log on both sides. Otherwise, there is a shortcut method, direct formula will be there. 
if we don't remember the formula you can apply log on both side because it is function power function apply logarithmic method this kind of problems also already we done let us take this is u this is v we can take u separately v separately find the derivative of u separately find the derivative of v separately by applying log on both side finally you can add both the values and get the answer here also you can apply log on both side because product of different functions are there when we apply log on both side it is in the form of log a log b log c sorry log a b c d log a b c d formula is log a plus log b plus log c plus log d we'll get separately then you can differentiation differentiate it is very easy then after parametric forms are there so find dx by dt dy by dt so dy by dx is given by dy by dt by dx by dt okay here also same here derivative with respect to another function so it is very very easy but some student might be confusing here how to differentiate the first function with respect to second nothing yet take like a u like parametric method u this as v differentiate the first function separately differentiate second one directly so first function by second function the derivative of first function by the derivative of second function is the derivative of here also derivative this derivative this differentiate both differentiation of e power sin inverse x by differentiation of log x that is the answer that's all finally implicit function is there so let us take this value as some like uh, t something okay squaring on both side okay no need no need already equal is there okay we can first squaring on both side i can explain you this no problem nothing to worry totally 28 questions are there let us discuss remaining next class